Hello alley fans, changing the thermostat and coolant temp sensor, CTS, and a 1.8 turbo. I don't think it matters if it's Volkswagen or Audi, but anyway, this is an 03 Audi, um, A4 Quattro, and here's, the, here's one of the tricks, okay? That's the clip that holds the thermostat in, I'm sorry, holds the temp sensor in. Take a piece of Gorilla Tape. And tape it on there. All right. Take a long strip of it. Don't use it. You only really need it about as wide as the back of this, the clip, and make it long, double long, and then tape it together. And what this is going to do, this is going to help you keep a hold of it. All right. When you're down in there trying to stick that thing in the groove to lock in the thermostat, um, you're going to need this because you're going to drop it. Okay. And what I do is, before I even start, I, I leave this tape on there um, when I do a job. And then um, you can cut it off a little bit shorter. And then the next time you need it, you just pull it up and just tape it right on here. All right, or on the battery. It don't matter. Make it long enough. Just with another strip that you can take off. Um, it really helps. Also, make sure that you're in the groove down there. Don't put it over top of the housing. Um, I've seen people do that and then it pops out so you got to make sure you find the grooves and the biggest tip I can give you is back the car up on ramps put it in park and let it roll till it locks in park and what that'll do is that'll shift the motor forward and give you more room to work back there big difference okay you need all the room you can get especially if you got big hands fortunately I got small hands so it, it wasn't that big a deal um, See if there's any other tips I can give you. Do not, absolutely do not waste your money on aftermarket parts for these cars. I, this is the, I, I did that while the customer kind of made me do it. And I said, I don't want to do it. I said, more than likely it's not going to work. And it, it didn't. The cool temp sensor um, showed um, 120 degrees when it was actually 200 degrees, the motor. Um, I used a infrared gun on it and uh, on the uh, on the coolant housing and and uh, That's what it read. But anyway, here's another problem. I bought he also talked me into putting in a aftermarket Thermostat now. This is a part of course this bolts on here Okay, I'm uh, sorry. I'm moving around a little too fast. But anyway This is an aftermarket thermostat. Look what happened the thermostat locks in let me find the thermostat and i'll show you oh here it is okay these tabs on the, on here there they are forced down onto here and then they turn and they lock in place underneath of that tab see that's what's supposed to be a tab well guess what a week later started running cold again all right and that's what happened. These tabs broke off. Now, this is the first one I put in. I called the company and told them that I didn't think the thermostat was um, was sealing all the way. And they sent me another. And guess what was wrong with that one? Okay, let's see. Where this, this sits on here like that and locks in place. This sits in here. I'm sorry. And locks in I'm watching what I'm doing, but I'm not uh, keeping the camera for you guys. All right, this locks on here, okay? And then that section is supposed to, that's, 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 wait a minute. Here's another one, okay? It seals on this end and also this end, because when you pull this down and lock it in place, this will be, this top piece will be exposed into another port. And when I got the second one, I had to call the company back and raise heck because um, this one did not close the other port. So that's what I figured happened to the first one, but I didn't know it actually broke off the locking tabs until I got it off. Okay, so I went and bought a dealer item. Okay, I told the customer I had to charge him again because he talked me into putting aftermarket on there. So I had to charge him for the job. Um, it's not really a bad job, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's a couple guys on YouTube 
that show you how to do it. I, I don't know if they're Russian, um, but they're, they really show you all the tips and tricks. And before you put anything back in, either the sensor or the thermostat housing, put a little bit of grease on the O-ring. And also, make sure you get the O-ring out of the uh, cool temperature sensor hole. If it comes out with the sensor, great. If not, you're going to have to fish around and dig it out. Now, when I put the sensor back in, I put a little bit of weather strip on the outside where the O-ring goes of the cool temp sensor and just let it sit on there for a couple minutes. That way you don't have to worry about fumbling around with that and trying to get that in place and dropping that too. Okay, so hope these hip, uh, tips help. Have any questions, uh, comment on the bottom and uh, I'll get back to you next time I check my emails. All right, um, I think that's it. Okay, have a good one.